So uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Anshul, and today I'm going to be your tutor for science. So everyone can see the uh, slide. Yes, ma'am. Is ma it visible? Yes, ma'am. Bala, Abhikam. Yes, ma'am. Afra. Can I call you Afra? Like I'm Afra. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So. Uh, is it visible? The presentation is visible to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, before proceeding to the topic, I would like to again repeat the uh, same definition of the food. Uh, Vivek. Vivek, what yes, is food? What is food? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, food is a substance. So, while we eat them, so they provide energy and kill... Uh, so I'm a bad uh, uh, and kill some uh, and kill some bad germ that may enter our body. Very good. So food is any substance that helps in growth and development of an organism, be it animal or human. Okay, and as well as it provides energy, right? So food is essential for the survival of any living organism because it provides us energy to carry out the daily activities, okay? You can't do daily activities like walking, running, okay? Even studying, exercising, and these are the daily activities. So to uh, carry out uh, your life with these daily activities, you require energy. Am I right or not? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So uh, to carry out these daily activities, you require energy, and this energy you can gain from food that you eat in a uh, different meals you so you consume three meals in a day the breakfast lunch and dinner all these three meals will provide you energy so that you can carry out your daily activities as well as it helps in growth and development of your body it also repairs your worn out tissues in case of any kind of damage so most of the food items uh, that are available today are adulterated. Everyone knows that most of the major part of the food items are adulterated. There is something uh, different components or composition or you can say the materials that have been mixed with the natural food items and then uh, the suppliers uh, used to uh, supply in the market. And we as a consumer, we consume it, right? Thinking of that, this is the best kind of food. But most of the food items that are available are adulterated. Adulterated means uh, any food item when it got mixed with another kind of composition which is not suitable. They got it, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the food that we consume comes from the numerable sources and the variety is huge. You guys know. In the last session, I have told you that uh, majorly there are two sources. Bala, this question is for you. Tell me, what are the two sources of food? I repeat, I repeat, what are the sources of food? Um, no, mom, I don't know. Okay, uh, simply tell me from where we can get the food items. Carnivorous, omnivorous, and herbivorous. Uh, so these are the food habits of animals. Uh, okay, listen carefully. I'm uh, asking. Plants and animals. Yes, the plants and the animals. The food sources. Sources is from where you can get the food items. Everyone, please note it down that the food sources are the sources from where you get the food. Okay? So these food sources can be of two types, the plants and the animals. Okay, is it clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so uh, the variety among the uh, numerable uh, food sources are very huge, okay? So in a food, you can eat the fruit and the vegetables, meat, fish, eggs, beans are there, and beverages are there, which are high in fat and sugar. Uh, the Coke, the cold drinks, okay, the soft drinks, like, uh, okay. Just tell me any example of soft drink. Any soft, soft drink? drink? Yes. Any cold drink 
or any software and coke yes, coke is there apart from coke we bake tell me a uh, sprite abicam abicam can you name Lampu any Coca-Cola. example coca cola and coke is the same thing so okay abicam mm, merinda and seven up yes and akra i don't know ma'am you don't know the name of any cold drink ma'am coke coke everyone is like coke coca cola merinda fanta okay so uh, we have fruity we have maza as well the coke the fanta pepsi is again there yes limka is there bavanta sorry bavanta yes seven up is there sprite is there and is there yes so these are the drinks which are high in fat and in sugar as well okay because these are carbonated drinks even the juices that you buy from markets are uh, not original they are adulterated some okay and apart from these uh, beverages and drinks we have milk we have uh, potatoes the veggies okay and uh, pulses are there so chapati is again there rice is there so these are the food item we have number of food items in our meal right okay coming to the what do different food items contain every food item is different from one another right and what do these food items contains so there are majorly five food nutrients okay that a food item has so first one is the carbohydrate coming to the second one the lipid or fats these are the same thing. lipid or fat note it down everyone lipid and fats are same okay carbohydrates fats or you can say lipids next we have proteins then we have minerals and vitamins okay now what is a nutrient what is a nutrient when we are eating different kinds of food each food contain different types of nutrient yes so tell me what is the nutrient uh, like any one abicam abicam ma'am what kind of lipid sorry sorry vivek ma'am i said that ma'am can you repeat what you can say the question uh, i asked what is nutrient i am repeating the same word nutrient okay so every uh, food item has different nutrients tell me what is nutrient avikam if you don't know the answer there is i'm not gonna no. <laughs> be a substance a substance that is needed to keep a living thing alive and to help it grow yes so uh, basically uh, any item or any ingredient or substance that helps the organism to grow and develop that is nutrient okay not only in the growth and the development it also provides the energy is it clear to everyone vivek bala afra and uh, abikam yes ma'am clear okay so what is nutrient nutrient is basically a substance that provides energy and helps in the growth and development of an organism so we were discussing the same definition for the food but in food we have nutrient and the nutrient is the major uh, substance that provides all uh, these uh, things to an organism okay and we have how many types of nutrients in our food five majorly there five are types. five types yes the carbohydrates Yes, the second one is the fats. Then we have proteins, we have minerals, and we have vitamins. Apart from these five types, we have water and rubbish. Though they are uh, not playing their role as a nutrient, but uh, what they do, they aid the organism in digesting the food and releasing the waste items. okay the roughage is noted down roughage is r o u g h a g e s roughage is and water i hope you guys uh, have your notebook and pen with you 
Ma'am, yes. you take water and what, ma'am? Refuges. R O U G H A G E S. Refuges. Uh, that include your salad, the green salad, basically. Okay, and uh, other fibers. So the refuges and the water aids the organism or helps the organism in digesting the food as well as it helps in releasing the toxins out so more you consume the water more you will release it either in the form of a urine or in the form of a sweat so what this water is doing water is uh, releasing the toxins from your body okay and it also helps in digesting the food as well and uh, not only digestion it helps in absorbing the nutrients okay ma'am got it everyone yes ma'am got it yes ma'am okay so shall we move ahead yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am so now the question comes what do these various nutrients do for our body till now we were discussing that we eat food we have different types of meals and that provides us energy and there is this 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 so we have carbohydrates lipids fats and proteins but remember that every nutrient has its own different role okay and they are equally important to our body you can't neglect one nutrient at a time is it clear so we have carbohydrates the carbohydrates are present in the form of a starch and sugars in our food okay uh, no matter how much sweets you eat every sweet has a carbohydrate okay all the plant based materials that you consume has carbohydrates okay the sugars you eat the rice is there okay that is a carbohydrate is it clear so uh, carbohydrates forms the major part of our food and it provides energy to our body but next we have fats okay the fats uh, the main sources of fats are the oils okay butter butter is there yes e cake yeah if i guess cake is there so I'm fat Uh, chicken is uh, more of a source of a protein. Mom, chocolate. Fats is there. Sorry. Chocolate. 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 Yeah, chocolate can provide carbohydrates and as well as fats. So one thing, burger is not good for your health. We are talking about good foods here. Okay. So no more discussion of junk foods in my class. <laughs> okay so we have fats yes so we have fats fats provide more energy to our body as compared to carbohydrates okay always remember the fats is also there that will provide energy to your body but it uh, also if you are consuming more fats apart from the normal range you can get obese so anything that is in excess will always cause a harm to your body so carbohydrates and fats are there that will provide you energy among carbohydrates and fats we have fats that will provide more energy to your body okay next we have proteins so proteins are the body building foods so they help in the growth and development of the organism or of a human so they are building your body is it clear everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am yes. Have we come? Ma'am, examples of protein are pulses, right, ma'am? Something. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Examples of proteins, pulses are there. The more you uh, take out, take the pulses, so there will be good growth, and you will be healthy. Yes. Next is the vitamins. Vitamins and minerals are the same classes of nutrients, but due to uh, of this different sources, we classify them differently. Okay. Otherwise, they have the same functions. That is to help our body to fight against diseases and also helps to keep our eyes, gums, the bones in a healthy shape. Okay. And there are different kinds of vitamins. We have vitamin A. We have vitamin B complex. Vitamin C, vitamin D, E, and K. So six vitamins are there. 
A, B, C, D, E, and K. Okay. Now, this vitamin B complex means there are different types of vitamins, different classes of vitamins that comes under vitamin B. So, you have vitamin B1, B2, okay? B3 is there, B5, B6, B7, up till B12, okay? B9 and B12 is there. So, these all vitamin Bs form the B complex. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good. So, try noting it down on your notebook as well. Okay. So, we have vitamin A, vitamin B complex, the C, D, E, and K. Okay. Also, these vitamins are classified into two categories. The one is the water soluble and the another one is the water non-soluble. So, some are the water soluble, some are fat solubles. Means, uh, some vitamins can get solubilized in water. Okay, so these are vitamin B and vitamin C. So they, they get easily washed off with the water. Uh, they can easily get uh, dissolved in the water. Okay, so vitamin B and vitamin C. The best example is uh, this. Uh, we are having summers everywhere, right? So glucon D. Have you heard about glucon D? How many of yes, you have heard. had? Yeah. How many of you drink glucon D? Bala? Yeah, have you heard it? Ah, you have heard it. Have you ever had it? Um, only once, ma'am. Only once. Okay. So, uh, Vivek? Yes, ma'am. Vivek have heard everything. Afra? No, ma'am. You, you two had glucon D? No, ma'am. No? It's okay. Uh, and uh, uh, Avikam? Yes, yes. Yes, he had it. So, glucon D is the best example of glucose. Uh, that is the carbohydrate as well as vitamin C. Okay? So, you take one spoon, which is a powdered form. You take the one spoon and just dissolve in a, a, a glass of a water and just drink it. So that is very refreshing and uh, you instantly get the energy. So if you don't have it, uh, try searching out on a Google. You will find it out. Okay. And okay, ma'am. Yeah. So yeah, we had glucon D. This is the best example for carbohydrates, vitamin C. And the vitamin C is the very important vitamin because it protects our body against diseases. Okay. So we have different vitamins that help our body to fight against diseases as well as minerals are again there which perform the same function okay so now come to the what are the sources of different vitamins right we know from where we can get the carbohydrates from uh, where we can get the fats where we can get the proteins and coming to the vitamins what are the sources from where we can get every vitamin so to get vitamin a you have to eat carrots, you have to eat mango, you have to eat papaya. So these three are the major sources of vitamin A. For vitamin C, uh, all of the citrus plants or citric plants that taste some kind of tangy. So khatte hote hain taste mein, thikhe? Every uh, uh, food item that is tangy in taste or something sour, you can say, so those food items have vitamin C, which include the tomatoes, the guava, the lemon, and the oranges. Okay. So lemon, oranges, and tomato are um, all these three are tangy, right? So they have vitamin C. Always remember the citrus fruits or the food items that are tangy in taste have vitamin C in them. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next, we have vitamin B. So, from where you can get the vitamin B? Vitamin B can be obtained from rice and wheat. Although rice and wheat uh, forms a major part of carbohydrates, but it also includes the vitamin D as well. Okay? Then we have vitamin D. Vitamin D is good for your bones. So, uh, for bones, uh, you will have to consume the liver, the fish, milk, and butter. Liver of a chicken 
or fish liver or a fish as a whole milk is there butter is there that will provide you vitamin d is it clear yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so shall we move ahead yes ma'am next yes, ma is the whole uh, basically it's a summary of the components of food so we have carbohydrates the first one is the carbohydrates so these are digested and then broken down into glucose and then provides energy to the body so starch is there sugars are there so they are the carbohydrates every sweet food item has carbohydrates okay be it a sugar cube okay or uh, curd is there curd is again has this carbohydrates okay and yeah so these carbohydrates how these carbohydrates are uh, for they are synthesized to get energy like if the carbohydrates are digested they are broken down in, into a smaller molecules called sugars the best example is the glucose and then they provide energy to the body okay the fats fats also provide energy to the body but moreover it stores energy now why it stores energy because in the previous slide it, it was written right uh, i have noted down that the fats provides energy more energy as comparable to carbohydrate so whatever the energy is used at a time the human or any organism will consume it but rest of the energy which is left is stored okay so let's say you have eaten any any fats right you have taken this paratha with the butter and the curd so you you guys are taking more fats so whatever uh, the energy is required at that time the your body will consume uh, the fats uh, at that time but rest of the fat will get stored so your fats has this function of storing energy okay and it protects and insulates the important organs so every organ in your body is maintained and there is less uh, you can say the friction in between the organ, organs right so why it is there because your fats is uh, fat, the fatty layer is, is providing a protection over that organs okay and as well as it insulates the important organs right so the fast has a function of storing the energy it protects and insulates the important organs next comes the proteins so your proteins helps in building your body by increasing the metabolism so metabolism is nothing it is just a breakdown of main components the food nutrients to get the energy that is metabolism okay the proteins also helps in synthesizing your hormones the antibodies that helps in providing this immune system and as well as it acts as an enzyme okay is it clear so i have discussed three four components till now if you guys have any query you can ask me among these three because these are the major food components the major nutrients is it clear no queries avikam uh, afra vivek bala no queries okay the next food component is the vitamins so vitamins helps in maintaining your bones healthy it boost your immune system and it moreover it heal the bones it repair and damage uh, it repairs the damaged cells cells and it converts the food into energy okay wherever there is a damage in your cell uh, the vitamins will repair it it will also boost the immune system and it helps in converting the main food that you have consumed into the energy form which is required okay now we have micronutrients so we have nutrients in a two categories the one is the macro the major one and then we have micro okay so uh, the carbohydrates fats proteins okay and vitamins these are the macronutrients the micro one contains the minerals and some ions okay which if not consumed 
will cause any kind of deficiency disease otherwise uh, they don't have that major uh, importance in your food but if you are not consuming uh, so uh, they can cause any kind of disease okay so that is micronutrients till now we have discussed the macro now we have microbes okay so iodine is there so iodine can be consumed from the table salt that everyone has in their home right iodine is there which helps in the formation of a thyroid hormone the hormone uh, that is present over here in the thyroid gland okay and uh, this helps in maintaining uh, the normal functioning of the body is it clear then we have calcium so calcium is a micronutrient but it helps in proper functioning of your nervous system as well as it helps uh, in maintaining healthy bones as and teeth okay then we have phosphorus so phosphorus is there which helps to maintain the acid base balance in the body because our whole human body has different kind of uh, reagents and solutions in it which has different acidity so, so some are acidic some are basic so if there could be any kind of imbalance then there, could, there should be any clinical disease but phosphorus helps in maintaining this acid base balance in the body next we have sodium sodium uh, that can it controls the blood pressures okay blood pressure then we have iron iron is there which is present in your red blood cells in your blood okay and it helps in facilitating the formation of hemoglobin which is again a part of your red blood cells is it clear yes ma'am okay next is the fibers so fibers helps in food absorption and it prevents the constipations okay i have told you the roughages about roughages so roughages and the fibers these are the same thing so they help in the food absorption and prevents constipation so they are helping in food digestion as well next we have water so water is there which helps in absorbing the nutrients from the food and whatever the food you have consumed uh, the water will help in absorbing all those nutrients and then uh, get it broken down in the form of energy and it also helps in releasing the waste from the body in the form of urine and sweat so now we are going to watch a video uh, regarding this food nutrient so that the concept uh, could uh, be clear to every one of you okay just give me a second so that I can share the screen. Just a yeah. second. Uh, is it visible to everyone? Yes, ma'am. And is it audible? Is it audible? Yes, it's audible. Okay. So I'll uh, keep watching it, and I think it will make you clear more about the concepts that I have taught you. Tell me what he will do now. What food should he consume to uh, get those dumbbells? What, ma'am? Can you repeat? Uh, I asked. Uh, tell me. Uh, we come. This question is for you. Tell me that yes, what food nutrient or what food item should he eat 
to raise those dumbbells abikam i think abikam is not there after ma'am energy drink hmm? energy drink bala can you tell me what should what nutrient should he eat to uh, get those dumbbells calcium hmm, calcium yes ma'am so okay uh, my one, one question i have a question uh, from vivek okay vivek tell me what is the body building food nutrient which nutrient acts like a body building can i tell okay bala tell me a uh, protein protein so now uh, this I'm protein i'm vitamin yes. Yes, Bala. No, that's not me. That's Afra. That was Afra. Yes, Afra. Sorry, Afra. Ma'am, protein. Yes, protein is there. Protein. protein. Yes, yes, very good. So proteins are there, uh, which helps in building a body. So if you don't have a good body, you don't have a healthy uh, body, you can't get those heavy dumbbells. Okay. so he is drinking milk and milk is a good example of proteins as well as calcium okay so let's start aha Okay, my question is from Afra. Afra, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me. So these are the various diseases, right? So which food nutrient will help this boy to get rid from various diseases? I repeat, which food nutrient or which nutrient will this boy? uh help to get rid of all these uh, various diseases and vitamin c yes vitamin is the vitamin c or any vitamins good very good we know we have
if it is undigested the dietary fibers uh, salads okay the green salads the mesh cobs they help to get rid of all those undigested food okay <sighs> Carbohydrates, water, fats, beans, dietary fibers, minerals, and vitamins, they as a whole form a balanced diet. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Was that interesting? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So uh, now again back to the study. So now we have an activity. Okay. <clears throat> so uh tell me if the presentation is visible to everyone yes ma'am the presentation is visible yes, okay tell uh now we are going to have this activity so every one of you i'll call your name and you have to tell me what food item you have consumed in the lunch and then we will figure out whether you had all those nutrients in the right amount or not okay i'm you ready you. okay i'm saying that uh, i will call your names one by one and you have to tell me the food items uh, that you consumed that you had in your lunch and then we will check out whether you had all these uh, nutrients in the right amount or not Mom, I have a doubt, ma'am. Uh, yes. Vegetables with uh, will come in. Vegetables will come in the. It depends what type of vegetable you had. So most of the colored vegetables they form the part of the proteins. They form the part of your vitamins as well. Okay, ma'am. Vitamins and minerals as well. So I will figure out. Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, what. food item comes under which category okay you guys need to tell me what food item you have consumed are you ready everyone yes ma'am yes, yes. yes ma'am so who will go first ma'am i will wait you wait okay so we wait okay so we wait tell me what you had in your lunch yes ma'am yes ma'am rice Pulses, pulses, rice pulses, and uh, one more, ma'am. Ma'am, curry la, and uh, and ma'am, ma'am, kochu sabji. Which one? Ma'am, kochu, kochu. What's that? Ma'am, this only. Uh huh. Okay. And what else? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, that's it. Okay. So, so let's see what he has uh, consumed. So we'll put uh. 
will put a smile. Okay. So rice has carbohydrates. Yes. So Vivek has consumed the carbohydrates. Pretty good. Next we have pulses. So pulses are the good source of which nutrient? And our proteins. And proteins. Yes, proteins. Okay. So proteins are there. Yes. So we has consumed proteins as well. Next fats. Among these food items, tell me uh, which food item is a source of a fat. me no yes, no idea so we have rice okay rice is a good example of fats as well so have fats so vivek has consumed fats okay so we, uh, yes, he has consumed fats he has consumed carbohydrates pulses are there proteins so next comes the karela and the kochu so uh, the kochu is a type of a vegetable which forms the part of roughage. Okay. Roughage. And karela. Karela, the god, bitter god that you say. Okay. Uh, bitter god is a good source of which type of uh, nutrient? Tell me. And vitamins. Mm. And vitamin. Bitter God. I repeat, bitter God. If if you are saying vitamin, tell me which vitamin should it it have. Anyone. After have you do you have any idea? The bitter god has which nutrient? Mom, vitamin. Vitamin. Which vitamin? Which vitamin? Because we have different uh, class categories of vitamins, right? So Karela or bitter god has vitamin C in it. Okay. okay. Yeah, vitamin C. So Vivek has consumed carbohydrates, pretty good, the proteins, the fats, the vitamins, and he is lacking in minerals. Okay, so next time. Uh, so next time, be prepared with your minerals. Okay, Vivek? Yes, ma'am. Next candidate. Bala. Ma'am, yes, ma Okay, Bella. We'll start with you. What you I, had in your lunch? I ate uh, rice, yeah, carrot, rice, potato, potato, and, and some even sand like the pepper, butter. Can you spell it out? Uh, P A P A D. P A P P A Papad. Papad. It's Papad. Papad is there. Right. Um, you know something called ghost, man. It's also a kind of vegetable. I don't know what. In its its name in English. Okay, what I think it's that? cabbage. Cabbage. Yeah. You had cabbage. You had rice, potato, papad, and cabbage. Yes, ma'am. And even some uh, little amount of curd. Uh, some amount of curd. You sure? Yeah. No? Anything yes, else left? Tell me. No. Um, so, mm -hmm. no, no. Okay. Uh, okay. So, okay. Now you guys will tell me what Bala had consumed. If Bala had consumed, I will just call out the name of the uh, every nutrient you will say yes or no so carbohydrates for carbohydrates yes ma'am so 
which food item has carbohydrates rice ma'am rice, rice. and yes. potato rice. and potato and even carrot curd curd is even there which has carbohydrates okay everyone please note it down the rice potato and the curd are the sources of carbohydrates here and yes for proteins does he consumed any protein some problem yeah ma'am in the uh, cabbage there were beans ma'am like mixer okay i'm going to write cabbage plus beans yeah. is it okay now yes ma'am Yeah, even a uh, little amount of coconut huh? yeah they are they are in a mixture okay okay coconut mix it right so cabbage yeah. beans coconut okay i even you had a spinach i don't know what kind i had a lengthy dish man because everything was mixed in it even spinach like the spinach was also there good yeah and thing else left wala uh, uh Lady's finger. Lady's finger was again there. Okay, was that a sandwich? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna write the sandwich. <laughs> Is it okay? I'll write the sandwich. A spinach actually, ma'am. Coconut was different, and the spinach was different. Like okay. kira, you know, ma'am. It was different. Yeah, that's why spinach and sambar. And sambar. Sambar. In a short, we are a good morning chat. Sambar. Okay. So sambar has this uh, dal, the lentils. which is a good source of uh, proteins. Right. So for proteins, what food items are present over here that will act as a source of protein everyone? Um, Among beans, then yes. uh spinach will no um, spinach. I'm sambar. Sambar as a whole. Yeah. yeah, pulses. Yeah. Sambar is formed from of pulses which is again a, a good source of proteins and we have beans beans will again act as a, a protein source okay and uh, we have this uh, what else you know and cabbage no cabbage not cabbage for cabbage is not acting like a protein so okay for fats mam curd mam yes curd and rice even papad it's so, fried in oil yeah it, it's fried in oil so it has some amount of fat but it majorly forms the part of roughage okay for coconut and spinach forms the part of vitamins and minerals okay coconut the spinach yeah the coconut spinach they form and uh, the cabbage as well so they form the part of vitamins and minerals also the roughage is there because of papad and cabbage again okay yes so bala has a full uh, plate of this all of the nutrients and he has this balanced diet good next is afra mam Yes, yes. I'm going to write your name Afra. Is it okay? I'm Afra. Yes. Tell me what you had in your lunch. Now we'll figure out whether you had balanced diet or not. Yeah. I ate chicken biryani and raita. Chicken biryani has raita. Okay. So you had carbohydrates. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me which food item will uh, provide you the carbohydrate? Among chicken biryani and raita, tell me which food item will provide carbohydrate? Well, biryani. The rice, the rice that uh, forms the biryani and the chicken as well as the raita. The raita is again a curd. so that provides you the carbohydrates and uh, which food item is going to give you the proteins mam raita mam raita the chicken because raita is uh, uh, how it is uh, prepared it is prepared from curd right 
so curd will form the part of carbohydrates and fats right for proteins there is chicken okay so chicken will okay. give proteins to afra's body okay for fats what food item will provide fats ma'am rice and raita yes good and uh, ma'am raita yes the rice and the raita good uh, after tell me which food item will provide you vitamins If you tell me, uh, does your raita has this onion and tomatoes? Um. Yes. No. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, biryani also has this uh, onion and tomato as well. So onion and tomato they will uh, form the part of vitamins and minerals. but now tell me among this chicken biryani and raita which food item will provide the roughage part um chicken chicken do you think chicken will form the roughage part ma'am raita how come raita bachcha wala any answer Yeah. any idea which uh, among this chicken biryani and raita which uh, food item will form the roughage part am um, raita uh, ma'am i think it's chicken biryani sorry no no idea yeah ma'am because in biryani they will put some spices like right, ma'am Some of the spices are roughage, ma'am. Uh, no, spices and condiments are added to the food item to make it delicious somehow, and they part the for uh, they form the part of this vitamins and minerals. Okay, they don't help in digestion of your uh, food, but it helps in uh, making your food tastier and providing some kind of vitamins and minerals. Okay, I think so there is more. so it means there is no roughage in his food after okay so roughage is basically something that will help in di- uh, get rid of those uh, undigested food like barley right no barley is there. or if he had salad if after if you had salad in lunch then it can also act as a roughage okay no ma'am you don't had salad it's okay next time make sure you have either had a cucumber or uh, a raw onion or raw tomatoes in your lunch okay so that will give you the roughage and will help in uh, getting rid of that undigested is it clear everyone ma'am but in raita okay. there will be on- onion right ma'am yeah onion is there but that onion is now getting mixed with the curd okay so it is a uh, like uh, it is providing the vitamin portion okay it is forming the oh, vitamin we need to portion. eat it raw raw okay yeah, okay okay raw with the uh, some uh, squeeze of a lamb and uh, that salt a sprinkle of salt okay is it clear everyone uh, the username shri lakshmi khasnis yes ma'am uh, can you please tell me your real name Ma'am, my real name is only Sri Lakshmi. Okay, your name is only Sri Lakshmi. So we, uh, Sri Lakshmi, we were discussing the food and the components of the food. Okay, okay. and we had almost discussed the nutrient part, and it's already seven. Now we are at the end of this class. Uh, before leaving this class, uh, every one of you, I want you to fill the feedback form uh, that I'm gonna share in the chat box. uh just yes, give ma'am. me a second okay just give me a second 